Hey guys, thank you for stopping in today. If you are new here, my name is Dan Seabearded and I would highly encourage you to consider subscribing if you like to learn about beards. If you are returning, I know you like to learn about beards and thank you guys so much for everything that you do. Today's video is going to be a shorter one for my channel, but for me, highly interesting. For the first time in the history of science, we have been able to prove that stressful situations can directly cause gray hairs. Now, in the past, they thought different theories where we've had generations of anecdotal evidence, people just living by example and showing that that is the case, right? We can see presidents or other people that go into stressful positions and it, it highly accelerates that graying process, but they thought maybe it had to do with increasing the, sh the shedding cycle. When you guys have stress, you are going to shed more. And they thought maybe the more you were shedding, the quicker it would get to the grays. They just couldn't prove it. Well, now they are able to prove that stress will induce those gray hairs in some situations. Um, it has to do with your flight and flight and a whole bunch of science that's well above my pay grade and I'm not even going to pretend to act like I know it, but I will drop some articles and some studies in the description for those of you that are really into science and really want to read those details. But a super interesting add-on to this, they believe that it is also reversible. That some of those hairs will be permanent, that's not going to change, but once the stressful situation is done and you've kind of have repaired all the damage that has been done because of the stress, those hairs can go back to their natural pigment and bring the color back again. And that is mind blowing, right? Think about how many people are out there plucking grays and, and dyeing their hair, but really you lower the stress, there's a chance that that color can come back again. So I wanted to bring that to you guys. I wanted to get your guys thoughts on it here. But for me, I also want to pose kind of a second natural part to this. What are your thoughts on gray beards? Do you have gray hairs yourself? Is this something that you see down the road for yourself? For me personally, I love the colors of beards. I don't care what it is. I love dark beards. I love gray, silver, white beards. I love ginger beards. I love salt and pepper. Salt and pepper might be my favorite, right? That's like straight up goals for me. Me, I've got brown. I've got red in there. I've got some grays. I got some different pockets of grays. It just makes like a cornucopia of colors. But I'm a big, big, big believer in rock what you got. I am not a fan of dying hairs. The only time where I see people's perspective is they say it's uh, the, the light color impacts the structural integrity of their beard, right? It makes it look much thinner than it actually is. So they dye it to give the perception of thickness or density. I can see that. I would still say rock what you got, but I'm not judging in any way. I get that point of view as well. But what are you guys thoughts? Do you like gray hairs? Do you think they look cool? Is that something you're going to earn one day and hope for? But also really important here. What do you think about this study? It directly shows that you can have a stressful situation, turn your hairs gray, but even for me, more importantly, once that stress leaves for the first time ever, this hasn't even really been thought over or discussed. It is now shown that it can be reversed, at least in theory. I'm excited to see more studies. These are literally 2020 studies. This is the first time we've ever been able to document this. And I thought this hat was really fitting for me. This is a company known as Norseman's. They only know I'm making this video, but their owner, Terry, is a good buddy of mine. I've had the pleasure of meeting him. He's dri driven up to Michigan, hung out, had dinner with my buddies and my mom moderators and he had a beautiful luscious gray beard i say had because he did trim it down way short recently he's on the journey back again but man i have a great appreciation for gray beards and this literally just popped in my head as i'm filming this has nothing to do with it being december and coming up on santa uh <laughs> right the gray beards the comments that people get all the time hey you look like santa hey santa i say embrace it go with it if a kid wants to think you're santa dig in make a little comment that's going to make their day. All right. So I'm really, really excited to hear you guys thoughts on these new studies, your thoughts on gray beards and beard color in general. This is going to be a fun one to interact with on the comments. Finally here, guys, real quick, this thing, if you guys ever wondered, is, is called the Positivity Project. It's something I do at school with kids, and we push all the different positivity traits of the world. It's not something I just do on this channel. I actually do it with my seventh grade students this year as well. I've got about 150 students. And you guys know that I always sign off in the same way, but I want you guys to look at me. I want you to listen very carefully. This is not a tagline for me. This is not something that I just say um, half-heartedly. I don't even know if that's the proper term. Uh, but if, uh, if I'm saying this, I really mean it 
to you guys, so please, I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but please listen up. Stay bearded, because a beard does a lot for us. It's changed my life immensely. I'm a healthier, happier person because of it. But the second part, this is for you out there. Stay positive. Thank you, guys. I'll see you soon.